Hello, my name is Ranveer Singh Dalal. In this video, I'm going to talk about teenagers and their problems. Understanding teenagers and their problems. So how can we understand teenagers and their problems? First, let us understand the situation of, of these teenagers. You know, they are uh, in the age group of 13 to 19. How do they feel? What sort of situation they are in? First characteristic of this age is, is, is you know, these teenagers have to face a rapid rate of, rate of changes. You know, they face a rapid rate of change in, in their physical and mental development. And physical development includes hormonal changes. So they tend to get confused really when they are faced with this kind of change in their in their physical attributes and hormonal changes lead to emotional disturbances. They feel moody at times. There is evident an, an alternation in their behavior, in their in, in their emotions, a cyclic pattern of you know change in emotions. Sometimes they feel feel moody, you know, sometimes they feel feel unhappy and they then again they feel a spurt of energy and enthusiasm so that's how it is and then you know change in their intellect growth in their intellect abilities that their mental faculties so there you know is evident a development a development in their mental faculties and and, and uh, physical development. As a result of these changes, this rapid rate of development, they feel energetic in their body and mind. And with this energy, you know, they want to do something with this energy. They want to explore their surroundings. They want to do something with, the, with themselves. You know, newly, newly gained energy, newly gained this development that is evident, they, they, they feel in their, their body and mind. They want to do something with that. They want to explore their surroundings, to see all around them, the life all around them. They, they want to experience firsthand. But but the, the problem is that that we want them to 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 get concentrated in in some limited activities, like studies or or sports, and then. This is the stage when, when we, we are not free from expectations. They are, now they are not, no longer children. They are growing up and uh, they are in classes like 10th, 11th, 12th. In, that, in those classes, we, we expect them to, to perform well. They are faced with stiff competition in their studies. Though there are, uh, you know, changes in our examination pattern, in our assessment techniques, grades are introduced. Still, there is a general atmosphere in a country like ours. We parents, teachers and relatives, we elders, we, we expect from our children a lot. In one way or another, when, when we converse with these children when when we talk with these children at home or or at other places there is evident a tinge of expectation so they feel stress of, of these expectations in their studies you know they they have to perform somehow well and the feeling of competition also develops in some cases rivalry also with others they have to perform so they feel stress as a result of, of, of these expectations. And then peer pressure, they are faced with peer pressure also. So on the other hand, the burden of expectations, facing stiff competition with, with other class fellows, their friends, and, and then peer pressure. Peer pressure is, you know, somehow they, they, do, they do not want to, to to go astray. They do not want to uh, to be left out of the group. So, 
so they have to conform to the expectation of the, of the group to which they belong their friends class fellows so if the group is involved in fun activities they have to you know so other than on on the one hand they have to carry on with with this burden they have to perform well and then this peer pressure they have to confirm to the, to the peer group as well so the, this this uh, this is a combination this is a sort of trap well they fall into and sometimes you know they they are not in a position to adjust with with this kind of situation and then this is the stage of identity formation body image they they develop a sense of self identity formation they they feel like like individuals they feel themselves you know developing in their personalities so identity they want uh, to to gain a self esteem for themselves they they develop a feeling of self respect and sometimes that 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 gets misplaced as well whatever but 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 they want approval from others they want recognition for themselves and the problem is that that we elders we 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 still consider them as children we do not cater to this this demand of theirs we do not do not give that much fetish to their personalities we sometimes do not take them them much seriously as they expect so this is how they are this is how their situation is and uh, uh, these these you know when they are in a position to adapt to this to these change circumstances the result is good the result is positive when but but not all the children are able to adapt that much well so if they adapt they perform well in this despite these challenges these pulls and pushes from all sides if they perform well our focus is is is, is that they should they should do well in that limited area that is that is their studies and if they do well despite all challenges we feel happy we we pamper to them we pamper to their egos we give give them that 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 self esteem really we 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 develop that we help develop in the development of that self esteem we praise them we appreciate them and they feel happy about that so that is an ideal situation but if you know in 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 not not in all cases that happen that that does not happen in all the cases then then what what happens in certain other cases children do feel the pressure they are not in a position to cope up with with these circumstances with their situation and they buckle under pressure they feel depressed they feel anxious they feel uh, insecure and and sometimes uh, they are not in a position to to share their feelings thoughts and ideas with their parents or or, or their friends so so this is a situation which uh, and 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 in some cases they develop uh, an attitude of confrontation with their parents with their elders they look as as if they are ready to quarrel they are ready to pick up a quarrel with their with their parents as it, as you know they behave arrogantly in some cases aggressively also not not in a position to listen to 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 their elders to their parents and 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 they they look as if they are disrespectful to us so this is quite quite a problematic situation in in such a situation uh, we 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 keep on if we, if we keep on you know moving on the same track if if we do not do not relieve the burden of our expectations if if, if we keep on pressurizing these children teenagers for for the expected results then the situation might get out of 
out of our hands and uh, these children might get distracted they may face several problems and, and, and in future they might lead uh, lives maladjusted lives they might lead astray they might go astray so in such a scenario in such a situation what is the role we elders we teachers we as teachers parents relatives what are our duties what we need to do in the, in this kind of situation first you know what we should do is is that we should take a step back we we cannot be so intrusive all the time we need to allow them some space. We, we need to realize what our true responsibilities are towards them. We, we need to understand that, that we, we shouldn't be ready all the time to give them help. You know, when they do not want help, we, we, should, we should restrain ourselves. We cannot be over-eager and over-enthusiastic to intrude upon them. We need to allow them time, space, let them explore themselves. We cannot be judgmental all the time. We cannot judge them on the basis of their performance in, in one or two activities. So if we, if we do understand them, their situation, we will be able to, to change ourselves as well. We need to understand that, that that, 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 that we are we are we are their companions somehow we, we cannot be possessive in this case really we cannot cannot put put unnecessary burden of, of our expectations on them we cannot pass on our insecurities on them we cannot feel that that they they, ha they, they should go in a particular field like this or that and and, and 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 in this way passing on secure our own insecurities to them we cannot afford to scare them in one way or another we cannot you know all the time you know keep on telling them one thing or another about their studies as to as to as to what they are to do what is is the is the general uh, score how much marks should they score? What should be their ideal score to get admission in one institute or another? So we need to be a little sympathetic towards the situation. We need to understand that in, in this age and stage, they need approval, they need recognition. This is their natural need. This is their psychological need. And, and somehow we need to, to give them assistance, the required guidance. And that should not be in an imposing manner. We cannot impose, we cannot intrude upon them. We cannot force ourselves upon them. We have to be their companion, their friends, their, their guide, their counselor. So if, 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 we, if we do keep in our mind these things, I hope our children, our teenagers will be better able to, to adapt to their circumstances. So that was the video for this day. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if that is the case, do click on the like button and leave your comments in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you do not want to miss my coming up videos. Thank you very much.